again from Eastway going back to a job that's been ongoing for a little while now in Chadwell Heath we're doing uh, part of a kitchen utility room and a shower and toilet together so it's been about two months now waiting for the builder to, to come back from holiday and complete his work and also for the people fitting the splashback they've got to cut around the sockets and the spurs the accessories and so we're going back there now and hopefully just get on with it and see how it goes. Okay, nice one. Thanks for watching. <coughs> Look at that neutral connection there. It's, it's not opening up properly. Look, see how, see how that one, that's the, sorry, live connection, that neutral, that's wide open. That one there is wide open. That one there is wide open. But this one looks like it's not manufactured right. Look. Where did you get these screws? Oh, from, sorry? Online somewhere. Right, okay. See, the th thing about these, right, this is why it's good to work in conjunction with the um with the with the builders because if i'd have known that it was gonna be so thick i wouldn't have put the boxes so deep i would have put them a bit more out um because what the i'm builder tried them and he said that they fit because they they mm -hmm. go the no no they not oh. they fit no the thing is you see look i'm just wondering i've got to, we've got to cut them down because they're a bit too long okay because when i screw it in it's most probably going to hit the back of the box. So you don't want to do that, it's kind of slightly bent. Okay. But I'm just thinking, when we screw, when I cut it down, the long screws that I've got, it's threaded right to the end. Oh, okay. This is only threaded halfway. At the, at the end. Yeah. So by the time I cut that down, I'm just wondering if when we screw it in, it's going to be, oh God, um, yeah. Anyway, let's, let's get, uh, let's see, I'm yeah. going to cut it down and see. Have you got your, you got a junior axle with you? Yeah. Yeah, let's try that. Because what it is, once you cut it, sometimes when you cut it with the pliers, mm. it still works, but you, what, when you cut it, you're messing up the... The thread. For the first turn. Yeah. When it, you know, when it turns in there. Oh, yeah, Because yeah, yeah. what I used to do, I used to have a 3.5 nut. So I would cut it and then screw it into the nut and screw it out a couple of times to sort of make sure it fits properly, but I don't think I've got any 3.5 nuts. Let's borrow you. Tell me something, Dammy. How do you put in an axle blade? Do you put it with the teeth facing forwards or so, or? Down. Up there, down. Yeah, I think that the way you do it is the way I, so when you push it cuts mm. and you should be able to pull it back yeah. easy but I think someone told me it's the other way, I don't know. Yeah, this is not, yeah, it's, it's a matter of holding it properly. What you, the, I think the best thing to do this is one of those little miniature, like, it's like a, Grinder, little yeah. splice it off, I think. Right. Hopefully that goes. Let's see how it goes. Oh. Right, that's cool. Yep, that's all right. It's gonna, I'm just worried whether it's going to screw up the way I want it. Mm. It's going up too much. say you want to this I don't this is not a brilliant screwdriver it's okay but you can get better ones Just, and like I was saying to you I didn't realize the size you get the size mm. it comes in sizes like four point something or whatever 
Uh, where's my one? That's, that's in now. Okay. Yeah. Because look, their original sockets are in. It's what it is. They're in further than the ones we put in. Plus they've yet they've used twenty five mil boxes, which makes it worse. Let's get your smaller earth sleeve in, Danny. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Put it over. If we double it over, put them in together, then I think we'll be okay. Like I said, when you're doing these connections, then connections are simple when you know how. Just a matter of take your time, don't rush and make sure your things are tight. And like I said, I personally, well, I've never bought GB sockets. The only sockets I ever used was MK or Crabtree, but now I use what you call it as well, um, Schneider. They're just as good. Because back in the day, I didn't even know Schneider. I just know Schneider for switch gear. Not the sockets. It's not until I went on a job and I saw their sockets. And of course, we've done that thing with them. Okay, there you go, Tammy. Mm -hmm. what, what I would do is, that lives open. Yeah, just get them in together and hold them. And then, like I said, keep, make sure you give them a tug okay. and see. Like, this one here, I've managed to get it in. It's just how you hit it with the screens. That's in nice and tight. It's not going anywhere, so. Yeah, just, just try, okay? I think you're gonna need these ones, Dan. Let's have a look. All right, let's see. Yeah, we may have to cut that down a little. At least we put them through, just screw them into the thing first. Like I say, when I when I cut them with my pliers, like I've just done, I usually have a 3.5 nut yeah. that I run it through first. Right, here we go, Dammy. Yeah, these should do. Right, okay, so... What we'll do, mate, is what, what I say, what I suggest we do here is because of these sockets, I don't trust them holding all the cables. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we'll put these two into the way goes and come one out. I don't even want to have three because it's, it's, we're going to have four. One, two, three, four. So if we put them into way goes and take one out, we'll have three. Still, even with three, I still think it's too much. Get rid of this. Yeah, get rid of that. Um, so we're going to need one, two, a four-way. Well, we're doing a three-way. Right, okay. So we'll put one, two, three. With the earths, we're okay. What I would do is put these four new, um, these four lives in here, yeah? And then one coming out, mm -hmm. yeah? So put one, two, three in here, one coming out. Mm -hmm. Neutral, th these neutrals are the same, one, two, three, one coming out. And then we'll um, sort out the earth differently. And then what we're gonna do is connect this this pair with the pair coming out of the way goes into the socket, yeah? Okay, cool. get, get me? We don't need a connector for the earth because we can put two in this side and two in that side. Mm -hmm. And I tell you what, I mean, just to make sure, because I don't want to be messing about with this bloody earth. What we're going to do is put new sleeving on that, Dammy, to about there. Give us a bit, because we're going to cut that, because that's already gone through, yeah? Mm -hmm. See that? It's already gone through. So, and sleeve that one as well. Right, what we'll do, we'll put these two on that side, yeah? Yeah. Because you've got two earth terminals, which is good. 
like I say, cut this off here because it's damaged. But I don't usually do this. But when I'm having an aggravation, I can't be bothered because I want them to stay in together. Just like together. These two you're going to push in the back. I Let's cut that a bit short. I don't want to see any copper sticking out the top. Yeah, like I said, cut those, push them down a bit more, then get them in the back nicely so you can connect these two, yeah? Mm -hmm. Okay. Cool. Any aggravation, let me know. I'm trying it out. There we go. So, did you say you was having trouble disconnecting something? Or? Oh no, no, that was the other one. So I'll try that. Okay, one. okay. Right. Anyway, look, disconnect that. Let's go over it. Make sure we get it all right. Yeah. So that's your load, yeah. Load? This one here, okay. 1.5, going up to the fan, yeah? Right. So, with these ones here, Demi, what we'll do, these two here, right, to save any messing about with the connections, just this, twist these two together, yeah? Because they're going to go together. Yeah. This one, bend it over, and, because here we go. You got two of them, yeah? Mm -hmm. So remember, be careful with this one because look. Right, so this is the load in. That's the live in. So that's this, these two. Because remember, this is on the ring, yeah? Yeah. So anyway, look, that's, that's new. That's going to be load. This is the load. So wherever you see load, the live load goes there, neutral load goes there. The other two go here and here. Mm -hmm. I reckon it's a rubbish design because you get that sometimes. You have to turn it all different angles to do the connection. Yeah. With the MK one, the arm, it's all in the middle. Mm -hmm. It's all in the middle. It makes it easier. Make it much easier. I came this morning and I picked up the socket and I said to the thief, oh look, they've made the hole too big. <laughs> <laughs> and not only is the lady, she had to say, no, that one goes down there. <laughs> down. Can you believe that, damn it? <laughs> I looked at that, picked up one of the sockets that was that back and I put it up there, measured it. I, go, yeah. I said, oh my gosh, what is too big? And the lady looks and she goes, oh, they heart drop. <laughs> they go, they go, and she goes, no, that one goes down. <laughs> Oh, that is embarrassing. <laughs> that is totally embarrassing. <laughs> This, this here is the load. You can always tell with me what the load is. It's 1.5. Okay. Yeah? Okay. All right. So what I would do to make things easier for yourself, I think, I would screw this one back first. Mm -hmm. Get it out of the way. Because you see, Sometimes with these things, even the even the action of screwing, pushing these cables back, mm. loosen the bloody connections. All right, so take, let me just start it off for you actually, because I cut those screws, you've got to be careful, make sure they screw in properly. Oh, let's 
see this is it this one here is slightly let me just check yeah you've got to be careful when you cut it with the pliers you have to be careful yeah so Connections at the fuse board as well. Testing and connections. Apparently there's some electrician something forum. I don't know whether it's a forum or whatever, but this kid who phoned me up this morning, he said that um, he went on this electrician's something or I think it's a forum or something. And, my name was recommended oh, isn't it? for training him because he was looking for an apprenticeship. Maybe they see me with you, Demi, or yeah. something, or a deal when they used to have a deal with me. Where is he doing now? He works for, I can't remember, on the railways or something. Very good. Some of the terminals don't open that wide because look mm. let's see that look I'm yeah. screwing it and it's not coming out these things aren't good mate I'm telling you these are not good good these aren't good um accessories this make of asbestos I don't rate them at all yeah you saw that out Right, okay, that's that. Right, so, come on, come on, so, we need common, 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 common. Okay, so I have to get some different cable. Oh, my days, oh, let me just see, so, which way up is it? Well, would you reckon the way the writing is, that's the right way up? Because it usually says top, bottom. I don't yeah, think it So it go by. So the writing's like that. So that must be the way up. Yeah. So this will be for them lights. The middle one will be for these two here and this one, that's that. So I'm going to have to have a common. I have common from here to here. Oh, link all the commons. I have to get some 1.5 cable. Uh, and... Yeah. Okay. So how come it's not a simple just swap over? How do you mean? So literally that from that? Yeah, it's slightly, because this is MK and this is oh, BG. Okay. The, the terminals are just situated. It's just, it is a swap over, but the terminals are situated different. Oh, okay. Like this one here, all the commons are at the bottom. Oh. And the L1, L2 is at the top. With this one here, there's one set this way, one set that way, one set this way. I'm just wondering... Because you see this part, the body of it, yeah. you see it's quite proud, mm. right? Because of this. This one here, it's flush. It's the way the design of the switch, the body ain't as proud. So I'm just wondering Is it gonna fit? if I'm going to have a problem pushing it back. That's, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. When you buy these type of things, it's always them 
their sort of design mm. things are not that fantastic. But let me get some cable. I'll have to get um, what I think I'll do. The joining parts, I'm going to put flexible cable in so it's more flexible when you push it back. Mm -hmm. Yeah? Because if, if I use the rigid cable, it might give me a problem pushing it back. With the flexible, it can bend easy. So let me just go and get that. I can get you to. Yeah, I'm just worried because of that, the back of that being so mm -hmm. proud. Just worried that it's, everything's not going to be tight. That's why, like I said, for lighting or applies, lighting or sockets, I always use 35 mil deep. Unless the wall is extra thin, where, you know, which most walls you can get 35 mil in. It's always good to do that. Right, so now, that's my first, that's the way up. So my first, I'm going to bring the live in down here because it's short and it's, See, there it is there. Comes in down there. Sure, if I put it, try to put it anywhere else, it's got to go on the bottom part somewhere because it's a bit short. L12, L12, L11. What the, I'm thinking, that's L1, that, that's L1, that's L2, I don't know. So L1, L12, L11, L32, what the? All right, this has got to go down here. All right, so the center light, this one here, goes up here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it goes in L21. <laughs> I've never seen numbering like this. So I'm just trying to tell you, I'm taking L21 as L1 okay. for this switch. Because they're numbered 22, 21, uh, 12, 11, 30. Uh. Okay, so this is what's going to happen, Dan. This is the top, yeah? Mm -hmm. So this is the bottom. Obviously, if that's the top, that is the bottom. Let me just, I try, I push it down, but when I try to, when I try to tighten it, it rides up. Right, okay, so that's that. So down, this is the bottom. When you turn it up, it's gonna be like that. Mm -hmm. So this one, which is for this side, is gonna go in L31, yeah? Cool. So this one, goes in That's this one. one, that one goes in L11, mm -hmm. and the blue one with the brown sleeping goes in L21. Don't put the, don't put the earth in yet, mm. because remember we've got split RCD. Mm -hmm. So if you earth this, and one of these touches is gonna trip. So at the moment, that's not earth, so it can't trip, theoretically. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so, right, let me see, let me get this straight now. So, when we turn it up like that, yep. So this one goes to 31, mm -hmm. that one goes to 11. Okay, okay. so let me, let's get, let's get, get this out of your way and make it easier. Right, okay, yeah? Okay. So that one, yep. There we go. Mm -hmm. Oh, look, they make, just one second, let me check it. And then what we're gonna do, before we screw it back, we'll switch it on. Yeah. Make sure that those terminals are the right way. Yeah. Screwdriver. That's all good. Yep, it's going to push back. We'll just check that it's switching, switching the, because we don't want when it's like that, it's on. Mm. We want it, should, when I switch it on, they should all come on. No problem. If we've got them connected properly. Huh? Yeah. Yep. Everything working properly. Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. Screw it back. And the black screw should do it. Oops. Okay, that's all good. So now, put the plug in there. Test doing the thing. Oh. 
Yeah, let me just tell them that we're going to switch off. We're going to switch off the sockets down here for the minute. Okay. All right, mate. Let's deal with this. Let's deal with the matter. Done. The feed. This must be the light. Switch line in neutral. This is the feed coming in. The PIR, the light's connected to the PIR okay. already. Yeah. So this is the feed coming in. This must be the feed going in the junction box to feed the PIR. Must be. Mm. <laughs> I can't remember that, <laughs> but it's got to be. Wait, yeah. yeah, I didn't mark that. Oh no, mm. let's see. Let me. I just want to check where the box fits in. Right. What do you reckon about this business, Dammy? Like, now, if I say we've run our cables in, yeah, put our boxes in, mm -hmm. we we'll just second fix and leave it and say, well, stuff it, let you look at it. <laughs> what, do you, what do you reckon? We're gonna get a lot of callbacks. <laughs> That's not, but what I'm saying is, no, but hold up, no. What I'm saying is, can you legit? I've never done that. Mm. I've never done that. I've always willing because it's customer satisfaction. They don't know. Customers don't know this, mm. you know. But you leave it. And so, because I tell you what, long time ago, back in the late 90s, I um, done a job for McMahon and I said, I connected all the stuff. Well, and it switches and stuff like that. Mm. And the plaster is coming around to make good. And I said, look, all you have to do, mate, is switch off and, and take out the screws and pull it forward and he can do his stuff. I think it was paint and deck. Oh, anyway, plaster actually, yeah. Um, so when I went back, everything had been plastered in. Mm. And it isn't. No, it's in anyway, that's it. So anyway, it's all been plastered in, Danny. And what it turned out, the gear, <laughs> He said the guy was scared of electricity, <laughs> so he didn't want to touch it, which is fair enough. He may have got a shock before, because he's a plasterer, and he's plastered everything in. So, so I thought to myself, you know what? Well, you could say, if you say, he's an is electrician, is he? Is he in his right to say, well, it's not my problem. Yeah. I've done my bit. If you can't, if you're smart, if you're... <laughs> well, you, can't really, you can't really do that, though, can you, Dan? Uh. <laughs> well, you can do, but it's not good. Because, like I'm saying, people don't realise this. People don't... You're there as a professional doing the job. They don't know that. Mm -hmm. When the blood... When the, when the, unless they're, they've experienced it before. Yeah. They don't know that. When the plasterer come, he's going to have to take that off or whatever. Or you could say, you could, fair enough, you could say, you're the plasterer, mate. You've got to get an electrician to take it off and put it mm -hmm. back on. <laughs> Which is long. Well, 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 you know, as a matter of fact, because you think to yourself, unless, unless you've agreed it with the tenant, with the, with the client, that you will come back and do the second fix. I mean, I just take it for granted. To get the job done properly, I think you have to do a first fix and then you come back and do a second fix. That's my philosophy. So that's my feed coming in, feed going out to the lights. Yeah, it's got feed live and neutral going out to the PIR. I think these are junction backs with the PIR, whatever. I can't remember now. <laughs> 
but it's got to be. You've got your feed coming in, you've got to have feed going out. If you ain't got feed going out, then you're knackered. So it's got to be feed going out. Yeah, I brought the feed, I think, the feed coming in, which we've marked here, yeah? Mm -hmm. That's why it's all taped up, because it was live. Yeah. And I think this one here is the feed going out into the bathroom. This is probably going to some junction box. Mm -hmm. Our two lives are going to go in here. All, yeah, our two lives are going to go in here. That's two feeds. And for the PIR. Mm -hmm. Anyway, everything goes on this side except the fan. Fan goes on the other side. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so, yeah. That's basically it, mate. So I'm going to start cutting now. I've disconnected that the fuse board, so it shouldn't trip. Let's, let's try. Well, this one's not going to trip, that's for sure, because that's the one that's going in there. Right, and nothing's tripped. Right, so now let's push up a little bit of slack. If I strip it from there, then I can push all that slack up. You know about knives, don't you, Dan? Mm -hmm. Always cut away from yourself? Yeah. <laughs> It's the matter of being able to work on it properly. Good. I'll tell you what. Maybe it's lots of cables. Yeah, it's just that. Maybe I'll strip it a little bit more. Just allow me, allow more. It's easier to work on. Because you got once you've got this switch up, it, it's going to be in your way of seeing things, mm. you know. Seeing things properly. So just strip a little bit more. See if we can take it from there now. So that's the fan that's going on this side. So now we've got a PIR we need, we like got live six line. So we do them is like I say, this is the fan mm -hmm. that goes down here. No problem. That's brown in L1, black with the brown on it in L2, neutral. Mm -hmm. Then what we need to do is put the neutrals back in here. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you'll get them in with that thing on it, with these ferrules on it. No, I think that's going to have to come off. Mm. Yeah, that's, that's going to have to come off. So we get smaller ferrules? Mm, but I don't know if it'll go over it. Oh, right, maybe you... No, it's all right. It doesn't matter because the, the oh, clamp doesn't yeah. affect it, right? Yeah. Um, Take yeah. them off and then... Well, these ones can stay on because they're the, they're the... That's the fan. Mm. Right, that goes in. That goes in, that goes in, right. So one from here, anything you go by itself, you bend it over, don't forget, yeah? One from here into here, that doesn't need to be that long, actually. Right, that's gonna be pushed back into the box. So we only need about that long. That's gonna be by itself, so we can bend it over. What I'm thinking is that, Right, this is the PIR, so that's alive. Right, this is the feed in. So that and this one goes together. In L1. Right, yeah, in L1 at the top. With it writing up that way, mm -hmm. L1. These are at the bottom. These go at the bottom, yeah. So, go on. When I think about it now. Oh, you're down the bottom one first, yeah? Yeah. All right, cool. Make sure it's all nice and tight. That's the live from the PIR, yeah? Mm -hmm. That's the live coming in. Them two it's definitely it's go good. together, cool. yeah? So you can cut that a bit shorter, push these in two together, these two in together. And you already set the PIR, didn't you, from yeah. that time, yeah? 
So it's all connected good, yeah? Yeah. Come to the end of that, mate. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I thought this would be a couple of hours. Yeah. It's the whole day. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Take so long just to yeah. do those fittings in there. And uh, the long screws didn't help. No. The no, long no. socket screws. No, no. If it was if it was threaded all the way, that would have been good. Yeah. But um, yeah. So it's all done now. Yeah. They're all done. So it's all good. Thank you very Move much. Move on to the next one. Yeah. All right, Reggie. Thank cool. you very Thank much. You. Take care. <laughs>